Yeah, we're not there yet. Uh, there's a load of other things I haven't explained, I just realised. Yeah, this option here, this is the surface to boat, this is to go periscope depth, and that's the crash dive. There are tool tips and just about everything. So, ev and everything just is pretty much a self explanatory. This this shows us our shows our depth and as you see as soon as I put it over there the tooltip comes up and it says uh, dive depth gauge um, current depth 3.80 meters so that shows you that you click on this and it will actually show you uh, more precise uh, depth gauge <laughs> You can, I think, I'm not sure if you can actually change this manually, but that shows you it digitally anyway. There, uh, this, this is our comf compass. There's a little red arrow there. I don't know if you noticed, but that's showing our current direction we are facing. Click on that. That will show our rudder. Now we can change this manually. You don't have to click on it to um, uh, navigate. Okay, and obviously this. This is how we change our speed. Currently, we are stopped because I don't want to go any further. We are in position. Normally, I'll just have it quickly ticking out, but you can manually change that too, and you can manually change uh, your direction you are if you want to do it precise. If you don't want to click on that, you want it precise. And of course, you've got your digital readout so you can see exactly what. Uh, direction is this digital readout shows the speed you ordered this digital readout shows your actual speed okay your actual speed and the speed you ordered may not always be the same S like uh, if you I wanted to go f six knots I'd click click on that change it to six but it take time for the uh, u-boat to work up speed to six knots and vice versa to slow down. No, there is seem to be one cheat is that what you noticed when I clicked on my submarine. Uh it ain't doing it now for some reason. Okay, <laughs> normally when you click on your submarine why ain't that doing it? Typical, I want to show you something, it's not bloody showing. You click on your submarine and, and tell you about uh oh, you gonna do it? No you're not. So he's not gonna let me off the course, right. Uh when you want to change course, you click on it and just go uh, cancel course or something like that. I can't remember what it says actually, and that will stop you dead straight away. <laughs> uh, there's no slow down or speed up or anything. You just you're dead. You stop straight away. Yeah, so that's a bit of a cheat. Now our uh, uh, prey is coming down here. The reason we can't oh there you just about see the smoke stack that's on the horizon. Now if it had been a clear sunny day and the sea pretty flat the viewing distance would probably be a bit further and they'd be able to see it's probably right now and um, uh, and we would have seen them earlier too that's what I was going to say <laughs> right so everything works and vice versa I will be diving now but I've still got a way before he actually gets within range. I don't know if I can actually show you that. Where is he? There, he's there. I might be able to lock onto him now. Yeah, I can see. So that's. You click that. And that's your target lock on device. And the target turned white. Now I'm, I'll click on him. And he says, target's too far away. You need to be within at least 2,500 meters. But if I click on him, he starts working straight away. He's uh, he's trying to identify the target for us. And I put it up there, and it just shows nothing at the moment. So everything is unknown. Uh, and we'll get to the options in a moment. Right. So he's already identified the target. Right. So we'll click on that, and it shows the target is a C2. SB1 uh, type freighter and it shows it basically it's 5590 gross uh, registered tons that's what GRT means and it's showing what showing us what the faction is which is the allies put that back on there so it comes up again 
underneath it's got maximum speed we don't know what its maximum speed is yet uh, we don't know its drift the uh, draft rather uh, we don't know if that is it, it, oh yeah it does so we're showing that this is the mission type objective so that ship is our mission objective underneath if the ship was damaged it would show damaged parts of the ship and hopefully we'll be able to get to do that very shortly so I can then click on that and it will then give us roughly how, how far away our target is another thing I want to show you as well is this little triangle here now this is quite important it's showing red it means what it means is we can hit that target no we can't yes we can we can hit that target because our torpedo is showing we can go uh, 7.5 kilometers we click that now this opens up this little gadget here at the moment uh, sorry let's close that for a sec click on it right we've now clicked on one of our submarine uh, torpedo tubes it's I'm gonna have to dive soon and if I click on that there it'll then tell me this torpedo has been set to go at 40 km uh, 40 knots okay and this this is the depth setting for our torpedo okay at the moment it's set for I think that means uh, two meters I think that's what that means two meters but I'm not fantastically sure this button here that enables salvos that means all three of these tubes will fire at the same time this will enable uh, magnetic detonator we're not I don't think our uh, torpedo actually has a magnetic detonator I do know I'm gonna have to go to periscope depth so we'll go to periscope depth and it's pretty swift you know it's the enemy uh, detection zone is going down and down and down and down I'll just go underneath the underneath the sea, under the waves and you notice it's completely disappeared, that's because we've got no viewing of it the, uh, uh, the freighter whatsoever but you notice this line comes out, that's our sound guy now if we click on this he's too far away <laughs> I know, he's, he's doing it now he's going to give us a bearing on our freighter We? How have we been spotted? Cool, that we've been spotted. I don't know how we managed that. Because I've done that. Well, that's that's our tax periscope, by the way. That is the detection zone. Is a lot less. We have been spotted, he's changing direction. Really? Just when you want to do something correctly, it doesn't happen. So, no, I think I just let, I don't, maybe I can't see that we are, have been spotted. Surely that must be the misreport. We did show out uh, the uh, freighter briefly, didn't it? Well, that's what gives you an idea what what's around you. I'm not sure if you can actually fire blind in this game. You probably can. Yeah, you probably can. Because what you need is to do the sonar bearing and use a marker. And that's the bit. Silhouette come up, click on it, and then you do it manually from there. I don't know, I've never tried that. That's an interesting thing. That gives me a like, rough idea where where, uh, where this sh ship's going to be. Let's increase that at the moment. No time compression. We are going to be within its detection zone, unfortunately. Oh, 
as a shame. It's moving along quite nicely. And there's quite a few background sounds in this game as well. I don't know if you heard just a moment ago <laughs> some weird noise. That wasn't me, that was I assume that's people in the submarine moving around. Um that's annoying that. I think we're gonna get detected. What I might do is I might reverse our course slightly. We don't need to change anything. Our, our, sh our boat is automatically reversing its course. As you notice, I've, I've got two knots there, there's only one knot showing at the moment. And it's showing it's gradually creeping up. It's not even one knot actually what we'll show. But we'll try and move out of its detection zone because I want it to be roughly about here uh, when I fire my torpedoes because you know, that triangle is still red. I want it to turn if it's yellow or green, and it will turn yellow or green as the uh, uh, freighter gets closer and closer to us, or more around to our front area, which is there, our bow. So what it means, I think what it's, I haven't actually read the instructions from there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, I haven't read the instructions. Oh, it's turned a different colour now. So I assume what it means is just click on our magnification. This brings it up to 6.5, 6.1 magnification. So yeah. showing the enemy freighter. All right. So I want really that to turn green. We're going to fire. I'm sure, how many torpedoes yet? We may need three. I know if it's less than. 5,000 tons, quite often you can get away with just two torpedoes. Because we're going to get so much uh, prestige points, I think I might use three just to be certain. I want to know uh, the, the draft of uh, uh, the. Uh, I've got the name of the bloody thing now. Draft, something. <laughs> Our deep ship is in the water, and that depend uh, what I set these to. Now, that do stop, stop the boat. We're well without it. I mean, well out of its detection zone now. We could actually alter this down a little bit. Normally that that's their detection is yeah, it just jumped down a little bit because we moved our periscope a bit lower in the water. That means it's not it's harder for it to detect. Click on one of these. And when this happens I'm going to be talking quite quickly. Let's get quite close into this. Right. Now it's within that zone there. May not let's click on that. Right, he's, he's too far away at the moment. I need to know what that ship is, how deep it is in the water. You don't have to, I can guess. I mean, if I set it to two metres, it, there won't be a problem. Check that down to there. No, it's still too far away. Okay. And it's still, set, shut that triangle still yellow at the moment. Once it turns green, I will be firing. I'll do my calculations. I don't do the calculations, this guy, this guy does. I think I can guess it actually. I wouldn't be the first one to guess it. I mean, I guess a lot of silent and fire. Right. Uh, now he's doing his, he's doing his stuff now. So we'll be able to find out every single thing about it. Ah, it's turned green now, that. Oh, it had, no, I thought it had. Right put that down to compression one. Now we know everything about this. Uh, this sh ship is three meters in the water. It's three meters deep. So we will leave it on two meters. You can set every single uh, torpedo to be different. I mean, if I click on that, then, then it's, this will travel at 30 knots it would be three meters deep but the others would so they've gone back the same 
as I want to move the sign. Right. Now notice that triangle is now turned green. That means we'll do the maximum damage to that ship. So if we just go down to uh, calculate torpedo solution, we we'll start doing this stuff. Now this takes a while because he's only a level two uh, weapons officer. And he can make mistakes as well. So don't think he can, can't. He can. And obviously the lower the, yeah, the level he is, the more liable he is to make mistakes. So it's not foolproof. The only fool is us. <laughs> Any second something can come up. Yeah, let's get a bit closer to the target so you can see a bit better. Right. Now your first torpedo automatically that there, that's where we've got fire. Your first torpedo automatically jumps to that position. Notice it hasn't on that one. So we need to move this to where that mark is. Fire up. Hello, fire. Right, didn't do it there for some reason. I ain't got a clue why. Right, all three torpedoes are now on their way. Right. Go back to looking at our ship, which is there. And it didn't spot us because it's not zigzagging at all. See our torpedoes coming along here. There's a big gap between those two. Damn. <coughs> well, at least our first one are definitely hit, that's for sure. I'm sure the other two will as well. I can't guarantee what we're going to be seeing in the area because of the motion of the sea. As you, as you see there, it's just covered up the top here, uh, the uh, periscope. But we should do this easily. Just worried about that being such a huge, great gap. I don't think the ship will actually slow down just because we put one torpedo into her. Okay, well. Slightly, because do we be waiting around forever? Do we? She's almost there. Right, we'll put that down to normal time. The first torpedo is going to hit amidships, definitely. Right, it's got a hit, Captain. Uh, we hit uh, them in the, the amidships. Right, so there's our graphic showing there, which is really nice. And our next torpedo should hit amidships as well. No, it's just all the damage we're doing. Actually, two two torpedoes probably would have been enough. It's starting to turn now, but it's too late. She's a goner. She's she needs a bit of a time, bit of a time, bit some time to sink. Come on, sink. Yeah, she sunk. So there she goes. She's sunk. Our mission objectives has been. Any second now, we should get a report. <laughs> if you can hear it in the background, that sound is the ship. So, right. Okay, this is what comes up when you completed a mission. Right, so it's showing us our reward is 3000 XP and 2270 uh, prestigious points. We've we'll set the award. Now, here, you can either stay and sink more ships, there is no more, so we won't be. Or we can say go yes to end the mission. Okay? So we'll click that, go yes to end the mission. Now here we've just received two messages. Right, the first one is obviously the uh kill confirmations. Now straight away we have received 1,406 uh, 1,046 experience points plus 57 prestigious points. Now that is plus our mission points as well. See, so we actually received, I forgot what we received, <laughs> more than 3,000 experience points, 300 mission uh, prestigious points, and our experience points was over 4,000. Just delete them. Right. So this mission is now dead. We have got other torpedoes. We could quite simply set another course 
to another convoy as we are here or we could in fact go back to base now just for the sake of it I'm going to set a new course to a new mission now that's showing that's connected to that mission there but we haven't got enough torpedoes for that so we'll click on this and this is another one shot wonder we'll click on that right that's logged on there so we'll calculate course it calculates our course if we wanted to say move off now that's where we'd meet it there but because we're going to skip course we're going to meet it straight away so ah, right nearly did it again didn't i <laughs> this is our option screen here for where we want to be on when we encounter the uh the the, um, the convoy or in this case one ship and as you see there are a few options rear left rear right and this is all distance obviously and this is the right side the left side front right left front right the sun is actually still on this side so this area over this side will be darker than what this side is was it the other way around no <laughs> Of the day, how would that work? I know at night, when in the evening time, as the sun's setting, this side, if the sun's setting this side, this it, we would want to be on the left hand side. So I assume we'd want to be on the right hand side. So we'll click on the right hand side, just to go skip to. So we're at this convoy again, like we were last time, into the submarine. And we should, at some stage, not just. No, don't forget <laughs> the delayed action that was. We still got two torpedoes there. And it's showing our new mission here again. So, and that is how I play this game. And you, can, and it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. Um, I think that is all you need to know. So we'll just end the um, uh, the video now. I don't think I've got enough torpedoes to sink that. Why is there a mark there? Oh, I mean, that's an old mark. Well, it's still there after all this time. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's our rubber. <laughs> okay, usual thing. Set course. Try and get in front of it. Okay, somewhere there. Accept the command, please. Sometimes it's a bit sticky. It is beta. I think it's been beta forever. So we need to surface the boat again. It's not sh oh. Something I should have done at the end of the mission is give a weather report. That would have given me experience. That was not very clever of me. I don't need that. At the moment we can't go on deck or the conning tower, that's all we can do, we can't go on deck we can only go to the conning tower well, I haven't got a gun so I don't know what happens when you get a gun do you get go on the deck? I don't know that'll be an interesting one for later when I've got a gun ah, it's and it's 12.11 if I just turn that around Maybe there is a difference, I don't know, because it's 12 o'clock, so the, uh, it's midday. Um, no, it hasn't made a difference, does it? If it was early morning, maybe it's darker this when you look at the west. I don't know. <laughs> as far as I know, that is it. It is all you need to know to play the game. The rest is down to you.